Mitchell. And I'm Justin Mitchell. And our family moved to the La Crosse area four years ago. We have two little girls, two years old and four months old. When we were looking for a church in the area, we intentionally sought out a faith community that aligned with our personal beliefs and values that everyone should be welcomed and loved without condition. And First Congregational has proven time and time again to truly live these tenets. We have been humbled by the warmth and generosity shown to us since we first arrived here a couple of years ago. We were welcomed with open and loving arms as we became new members. Our daughter Tatum was baptized on Easter Sunday and given a beautiful handmade blanket by a church member that will be a reminder of the love that surrounds her in this community as she grows. She has been loved and cared for well in the nursery by the nursery volunteers on Sunday mornings as Justin and I take in Pastor Kent's service upstairs, services upstairs. We are grateful for the other families with young children that we are getting to know, and we even were able to gather last year for a jam family backyard get together. The sense of community that has come easily has not been lost on us and is truly telling of the authentic way First Congregational and its members live its values and Christ's love in the flesh. In the weeks leading up to our daughter Sloan's arrival in May earlier this year and the many unknowns and fears surrounding giving birth during a pandemic, we felt a sense of calm, peace, normalcy, and hope when we would watch Pastor Kent's Sunday morning service as a family in our living room. Our two-year-old asks frequently if we can watch church. We were humbled by generous drop-offs of goodies and handmade gifts from church members after her birth. Again, these gestures are more examples of the unwavering support provided despite the challenges everyone is facing right now. In a time when gathering with others is just not possible and there is so much uncertainty in many aspects of our lives, First Congregational Church has provided us with a sense of community, groundedness, and hope that we can and will be okay no matter what challenges we face. While we look forward to the day that we can gather in person again, we are so grateful for the church family and all that this church has done and continues to do to support its members, our local community, and outreach that extends beyond the cross. The emphasis the church places on supporting, loving, and uplifting individuals and groups who are often left out of the conversation in, pla in other places of worship and in our communities is crucial to living Christ's message and mission in, and word. It is important for our daughters to grow up in a church and community of love and acceptance in a place that is supportive of everyone unconditionally, not just a select group of people. And the people who make up this church embody that and live that message. We have seen and felt that since our first time when we came here to this church several years ago. We recognize that giving back financially to the church is how First Congregational will be able to sustain this message of hope both now and into the future. And what we, need, what we all need more than ever right now is hope. Giving back financially is one way that we can help our church continue on their mission. Our family is blessed beyond measure that First Congregational Church continues to be a foundation of faith to guide us on this journey. Thank you from our family to our church family, truly. Because of you, our, our church sustains hope. <laughs>